guys, I'm Lee, I'm from Canada. And I'm Max, I'm from Australia. Hello everyone, Hello. happy Saturday. We're doing a bonus video yeah. because the one and only Lee from Max and Lee and so Oki. So solo, eh? Just it, Lee. It is, it's a Just bit. Lee. She lives in a self-converted Sprinter van as well with her partner and their dog. And we actually met up in Mexico. While we were there, we did a van tour with them and we thought this was a really good time. Now that we're all back hanging out yeah. in Toronto to reshare or finally share that footage with you guys. So Max and Lee, when we met them in Mexico, were kind of like, yeah, we're gonna start a van tour. We filmed one, it was super awkward. Yeah. So we're like, guys, like, no worries. We'll film a van tour for we you. We were so relieved. We're like, you'll film the tour and edit it and put it online. We now they're finally on YouTube and they are killing Thanks it. Thanks to these two they, and the minimal millennials, Christian and Aubrey. Yeah. They, if we never met them. And we kicked their butt and now yeah, they're crushing they it. So they if you guys us. don't know them, go over to their channel. They'll be yes. linked below. Check yes. them out. They're amazing. As much as we're having fun just chit-chatting at the camera, we do want to show you her whole family unit and her home. So we're going to cut to the footage of their van tour now. Filmed in Mexico. Filmed in Mexico. <laughs> See you guys later. We chose the taller van because we're both pretty big humans. I'm six foot one, Lee's five ten. Um, we wanted to be able to stand up fully. Because of that, we didn't really insulate the floor very much. We kept it pretty minimal there because my head touches the top as it is, but I can stand up straight with that. So nice and tight there. We decided to do it this way because we wanted to look cater for Oki as well because he's one of the van members and we wanted him to be able to be up front. So he spends most of his time where he is on this six inch memory foam riding in comfort while we're on the uh, less than less comfortable front seats. We've got our fridge actually under the couch here. Oki if you'll be so kind you can move bud. <laughs> so under here we've got our fridge. It's a 12 volt Dometic. It's been awesome. It's run six months without really turning off. Holds 72 beer cans, that was a big sale point for us when we bought it. Now our couch here, couch during the day and then it slides out to a bed at night. Yeah. It just slides these ones out and uh, yeah it becomes a double bed. We put these these two down, this one jumps into the front seat and uh, yeah it's really easy. It takes just about a minute to set up the bed. So the reason we chose to not have a fixed bed, um, or one of the reasons we chose is because we wanted to have kind of like a free open space when we were in it day to day. And it really feels like it opens the van up this way. Shaking out the sheets every day is crucial. Like we get so much sand in the bed. We spend 99% of our time of the last six months at the beach. And if we didn't do that, we'd have dog hair sand everywhere. So we shake it out every day and keeps us a little bit cleaner. Most of our storage, is under here and we've got way too much stuff at the moment it's a bit of a mess camping gear we've got snorkel gear um, we've got our electrical under there as well and some spare fresh water in case we ever run out part of building your own van is learning as you go and we accidentally made our seats a little bit too high we planned for them to be 55 centimeters that was that's supposed to be the top and that ended up being the base so we built this handy little box that we actually really love now it's our step stool so that when you're sitting on the couch, you're perfectly comfortable as if you were sitting at a lower couch. And we call it Aki's seat because it fits some of Aki's toys, some sunblock, some tape, a whole lot of odds and ends. So we added a shelf up here as well, and this is actually where we store all of our bedding. We have both pillows, duvet, sheet, extra blanket. It fits our surfboard. It's really awesome because it's an extra layer of insulation up here and mainly it holds our curtains, which we close at night and it makes it completely black out. You can't tell we're in here if we have all the lights on. One of our favorite parts of the decor in the van, it's our Polaroid wall. We take photos with everybody who we've met along the way and spend time with and at the end of our journey, we'll be able to t take all these snapshots and it'll play out the story of our travels. We met when I was doing a working holiday visa in Australia and we both fell in love with van life. Our second date, Max took me down the Great Ocean Road and we went in his little blue Volkswagen van at the time with just a bed in the back and we were comfortable, we cooked, we pictured, oh my god, we can do this for a long time and then yeah. we moved to Canada, bought a Sprinter van, started building it and now we've been on the road for over six months. We spent three months going through Canada and the US, we've been in Mexico for over three months and we're on the way to Panama and we're absolutely loving it. I think Aki's like half the reason people love our van. Like it's half, they think our van is cool and the rest think that Aki is amazing. Yeah. 
Which he is. He's a total babe and a great travel companion. We decided to put the light switch here, so it's perfect because when we walk in, we can turn it on. And it's four LEDs on dimmers. And then we also chose it there because when we slide the bed out, it's right next to my hand so I can turn them off at night and yeah, it's perfect. For the electrical, we did 200 watts of solar. We have it hooked up to two six volt batteries that are hooked in series, 400 watt inverter that runs a little blender, um, charges all our appliances. And from the electrical, we run our fridge all the time, the fan and the lights. A few months into our trip, we actually decided to change up our table situation. The one we had, was awesome, beautiful 100 year old barnwood, but we just made it too big for the space and it was really hard to get around. And in the end, we just didn't use it very often. So we decided to lash out and buy one of these lagoon table legs. They're actually designed for boats. We have, we keep the tabletop just stored next to my surfboards here. But the way they go on, it takes like 10 seconds to set up. Just jumps on this one. And this just tightens up. And then the great thing about this is you can straighten up, have two of us sitting here or you can rotate it around, it spins 360. So it's perfect for getting out of the way, small space, and same with getting out of the way of our fridge. When I designed the van, I already had these two surfboards here. Um, and so I essentially built that space around it. This second ball was slightly too tall, so I had to notch out the top there for it to fit in. But it's like, it's been an ideal spot for them because they take up as minimal amount of space as possible. One of the main reasons we wanted the surfboards inside was because we essentially wanted the van from the outside to look like an old electrician's van, which it is. So we wanted it to be super stealth. Welcome to our kitchen area. It was really important for Max and I to have a lot of space while we were cooking and cleaning and doing everything you need to do to live in a van. Our favorite parts, honestly, are probably our cabinetry doors here. They give us a ton of space. Space is limited when you live in 60 square feet and we were both worried about not having enough, so we started by building overhead cupboards over here, fit all of our clothes and way more than we even need. And here is our pantry. This fits extra water. Most importantly, Max's latte equipment, which he can make you a mean latte at any point. Uh, extra food, other storage, which brings us over to this side of our kitchen. We do have dimmer lights underneath, which are helpful at night. They can really brighten up the area. Our overhead cupboards fit all of our like necessities toothbrush, spices, like daily fruits and vegetables. Something that I have to say is the key to van life is baby wipes. We made sure that we sunk our overhead cupboards in so that when we were leaning over the kitchen, we had comfortably a lot of space. As for cooking, we use a portable propane cooker. Uh, we have a hole here that brings the gas through so we can cook outside or inside and we mainly cook outside. It gets really hot down here in Mexico and it's nice to have the doors open all the time. And these doors as well just hold all of our pots and pans, dog food. Which brings us over to one of my favorite features of our van is our sink. The galvanized tub is huge. It's very practical. Faucet as well is really key because you can move it around and you can wash anything you need in here. We've often thought we'd wash our clothes in here too if we needed to, but we haven't needed to do that yet. We've used chalkboard paint, which is quite easy. It's actually just applied background. We considered doing tile, but we just weren't sure with all the bumps because we were planning to drive all the way down to Panama. We spent a lot of time on the details that, you know, it took us yeah, yeah. five months while both working full time to do yeah. this because we wanted, we enjoyed doing the details. Obviously at some points, like, I really couldn't wait just to get in the van. Yeah. <laughs> but now that we're living in here, it's so homey. We absolutely love that extra bit of time we took to make it. For like sure. this is our first home together, so. Yeah. It meant more to us than just a home on wheels temporarily, like it was our first place together, so yeah. We love like cooking outside, especially with the heat. And so we made this little table for being able to put our propane out. And what I did was I put a propane hose that slots out from this one, so it can just go into the propane there. Super easy to cook. We often set up another table we've got behind us as well to put all our uh, cooking stuff on, coffee stuff, most importantly. This one here is actually where we fill up our water for our water tank uh, for the dishes. Goes in there, we've got a 40 litre tank behind it and you just hook up a normal garden hose tap to that one. We also have a 25 litre fresh water tank on the other side and that's what we use as our drinking water. And then uh, we have another five 
five gallon five gallon tank, tank under underneath the, the bed yeah just because when you're in the baja or anywhere in mexico like you drink way more water it's super hot and it's always nice to have extra water if we don't need it we have friends that run out of water yeah. and we've learned now that like the little extras can help other people just as much as they can help you and it's always nice to be the friend that actually can help out and give stuff yeah. rather than always taking things we've had a little bit of extra space here between our cabinetry and the van door we just got this little hanging rack from Ikea and it's proven really handy, mainly for drying clothes, hanging extra shirts and anything you need. It's just nice to have some hanging space in the van. Because we don't have swivel seats, we figured we may as well use it for some, for some storage. But we were also once again considering Oki. He likes to ride up front too and it's good to have all three of us across. So I made this little seat that fits inside the gap here and we made it to the same height. But another key I wanted from this seat was better cup holders. Anyone that has like an 06 or before Sprinter, the cup knows the cup holders are really far away. It's really awkward to grab when you're driving. Um, so I put in these two extra cup holders in the seat and they're so good. I got the bigger we ones for the bigger bottles time. and yeah, we use them all the time. Seat itself opens up. Yeah. Oki most of the time sits back where he is here on the six inch memory foam, but when he does want to come up, oh, come here. Yeah, here he likes to sit up here. And he, this is his, uh, this is his other spot. Sometimes, <laughs> if we're on a very safe road, Lee and him might switch it up yeah. so he can stick his head out the window and get a bit of breeze. A big question people have, like, do we have a washroom? Do we have a shower? We do have a solar shower outside that you, works perfectly well. We have a pop-up uh, shower tent if we want privacy. But this little guy is our poop shovel. Uh, if you need to go outside and there's no drop toilets, like the best thing you can do for the environment is to dig a deep hole. Um, preferably under the tide line or somewhere where no one's gonna be going uh, but it's proven to come in handy and we've actually lent it out a few times if you also get stuck in the sand it helps dig you out too so everything in the van is multifunctional Hope you enjoyed the video. We're back in Toronto. You, you already know that. But. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. It's not as hot as it was on the day. Teleported back to yeah. Toronto. We had a lot of fun meeting Max and Lee. As you can tell, their van's amazing. They're amazing. I hope you enjoyed the vidster. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to both of our channels. We're posting. <laughs> how often do you post? We post once a week right once now. Once a week but, for now. Yeah. But maybe if you go, like, give them some comments and love, they'll post more. Yeah. And we're posting our regular. Wednesdays, Sundays, and Freestyle Fridays. Until Which the next we love one. Freestyle Fridays because we learn everything from there. Uh, Sorry for interrupting you, that, but we love Freestyle you, Fridays. You, <laughs> if you're, you're not watching Freestyle Fridays, guys, yeah. Lee loves Freestyle Fridays, love so go watch Freestyle Fridays. I think we could talk forever, so I'm gonna sign it off here. Peace out. Peace.